it is pouring down rain. I just got out of radiation and I got a spot in front of the building which is like miraculous. So I'm hoping that is a good sign for my day. However, it is pouring down rain. It poured rain the last trip that I made to this retreat. And it took me, it normally only takes me two and a half hours. It took me like three, three and a half hours last time. So I'm really praying that that doesn't take me that long. Um, I'm still sitting in the parking lot. I'm not driving yet because I have a book that I'm going to listen to on the way there. So I wanted to talk to you guys first before I got on the road, actually. Um, yeah, so retreat bound, people! Yeah, can't wait till I get there. Even though it's raining <laughs> and pouring, yeah. Um, a quick shout out to Hipster Stitcher, Rachel Danowitz. Uh, she is doing a vlog every day for Stitch Mania, and they have been so hilarious so far. I've watched the first three days that she's done. So I really enjoy seeing them, Rachel. So, so, so glad you're doing those and can't wait to see the rest of them. So I will check back with you guys when I'm heading into Ocean City. Hopefully it's not pouring down rain there. Um, and you can kind of see what I see going in and all of that. So are you that. fucking kidding me right now with this rain? Do you see the rain out my window, out my back window? It is like Noah's Ark rain. We have been going 25 miles an hour on a 55 mile an hour highway. At this rate, it will take me eight hours to get to the retreat. Oh my God. Can I just say this ride fucking sucks? So I'm ready to piss my pants, so I gotta pull off, right? To pee. And I want Chick-fil-A, cause I'm hungry. And I want one of those lemonades. Have you ever had Chick-fil-A lemonade? It's delicious. So I pull off. I see a sign for Chick-fil-A. Well, can't find the Chick-fil-A because I don't know this area. So, uh, I come upon a light and I pull into a Burger King to go to the bathroom. And so I search on my phone and it's like, oh, Chick-fil-A is only four minutes down the road. So I come out to make a left and there's like a fucking accident of like five cars. They're not letting anybody through and I'm like, okay, I know there's a Chick-fil-A right by Ocean City. So I'm just going to go to that one. I peed so I can hang for not eating, right? Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Got Chick-fil-A, got my sandwich. I was going to flip you around so you could see Ocean City, but my windshield wipers are going. So what do you want to see that for? So, as I'm chewing. I'm like five minutes away now. Thank fucking God. Oh my God. I'm telling you. About to kill somebody. The rain has slowed down quite a bit here, thank God. Because I gotta walk in the hotel with like two big bags. So, hopefully the next time I see you, I'll be showing you what we got as a goodie bag or just taking pictures or giving you a room tour or something. So, I'm gonna finish eating this sandwich, get there, check in. I'll see y'all later. Thank God I'm finally here. I am not in the room that I wanted to be in, but this is still right in the hotel on the first floor, so this is great. Um, it's a pretty small room, but it's only me, so what do I need, right? Stuff to hang my clothes, which maybe I'll, I will do that because my sweatshirt is wet. Refrigerator, bed with a little crab pillow, which is cute. I like those lamps above there. That'll be good for reading tonight. Bathroom, which shower this is interesting oh and there's like a sliding pocket door for the bathroom let's try that Ooh, I love that yeah I really like that and then what's cool is around the corner is my sink <laughs> it's not even like in the bathroom but yeah then there's there's me there's the dresser I'm actually facing the beach 
me see if I can see there's the beach yeah still fucking raining like a motherfucker out there but yeah I tried to get like the whole oh man and someone just came up to me Karen uh, I bought her stitch mate stand and she recognized me from my videos obviously and came up and said hi and we talked for a few minutes and okay so now downstairs all the ladies are in there stitching let me get my shit unpacked and get down there and get to stitching see yeah, y'all like yeah. okay say hi because i'm filming i wanted everybody to see that's sandy that's linda don't worry pat hello margo I'm just trying to get like the whole room. There's Lacey's back. I am the enabler for this room. So if I go with you, I'm going to enable you. She's the talker, not the stitcher, the talker. I am the pull-out fraud. That's my middle name. I'm one of these with you. This is only been 24 minutes of work, guys. Not even 20 minutes. Yeah, you know, I'm going to have to see you. 20 minutes of work, guys. Yeah, I have to do a picture of a fraud for you. Yeah, they got a lot of work. Well, here, I'm going to get on your project to show what. Oh, okay. This is what Margot was working on. I love that. Show what you're working on, Pat. I'm not working on anything. Honey. Well, you can see progress. Ten years ago. Ten years? <laughs> now she's telling lies. <laughs> I started this last year, but I'm a seasonal stitcher, if you want to know. So when the season's over, I put it away. So we're getting into the season again. So I'm going to try to get it done. But I tell you, when Daniel's at the table, you get nothing done because all she does is talk to you. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I don't edit anything out, so show what you're working on, Sandy. It's this. Yeah. Very pretty. Okay, Linda, what are you working on? A towel. Very nice. Now, see, Lacey's not even here. What you can do now, show her. This one here is a scissor addict. Oh, yeah, she's... <laughs> Margo is a scissor addict, apparently. And she just bought another pair. This is my very first pair of scissors that I ever bought. Wow, that's impressive. And 82 first and scissors last. Later. <laughs> and first and scissors last. Later. Okay. And wow, that that's much. amazing. <laughs> I'm filming. So you're missing it. You're what? I'm come over here, Lacey. <laughs> so we have an aerobic stitcher that won't come over to the table. Right. But she did this in one hour. I just want you to know. I was going to say, did she really? No, she didn't. Did start this She's like, I'm not coming ever. Isn't that nice? No, not last week. Two days ago. Yeah, but you did three other things in between. So she really just started it last week? Yeah. I think she just started this today. Yeah, she started that today. But she is an aerobic stitcher. My husband told me. Yes, she is. She's surely. He hasn't named you yet. He hasn't named you yet. Can't wait for that. Apparently, I'm Mustang Sally, but we won't call me that. Okay. It is almost midnight on the first day of the retreat. Wait, let me turn the TV down. All I can hear is Modern Family in the background. Okay, that's better. I just wanted to recap really quick. Um, it was a good day once I got here, of course. Um, I got a lot of stitching done. We had a really good dinner, lasagna and salad and really good desserts. And I got a lot of stitching done. I posted a picture on Stitch Mania. I forgot to bring it up to the room to show you guys. But all I have left to stitch on the mermaid is her like torso, part of her torso, and her the, the side of her face, and then her hair. That's it. So I may be able to get that done by the end of the weekend because I'm staying until Monday morning. But I did go to Candy Kitchen today, and I got two treats. I got 
sea salt caramels. And I got, yep, here's some sea salt caramels. Yummy. Let's take a bite. They're hard. Good. I let you eat that. And I also got chocolate covered graham crackers. These are big. I only got three because it's a quarter pound. But I wanted to show you as I chew that caramel. The goodie basket we got. Look at that. Mm hmm So in it, what's cool about this is it's Velcro and the handles come down. We got a piece of perforated paper. We got Oh, that's cool. Look, it's a notepad. Like if you go into your LNS, you can list the name and the pattern, what you need. I like that. This is pretty cool too. It's a cross stitch gauge with the 12 most fabric, ugh, 12 most common fabric counts. That's pretty cool. We got one of those pins where the bottom pops out and you can put the fabric on it, the piece on it, because they gave us this pattern too. They gave us this whole kit, which is awesome. Shepherd's Bush, and it has the tin in it, all the threads and the fabric. Very cool. We got a thing of this Stitcher's Lotion, which I've never used, so very excited to use that. We also got this, which is called Needlework Finisher. I guess you can, what's it say? I've never, I've never heard of this stuff. Um, what? All right, let's open it up and see what it is because I'm curious now. Well, that just came right out of the package. It says it's the easy to use finisher for cross stitch, needlepoint, and crafts. Used to create enchanting small ornaments, decorations, will not yellow, stays flexible. Oh, it makes an excellent adhesive. Used for woodworking, paper mache, and crafts. You apply a thin coat to the back of the project, position the backing fabric, apply a second coat on the backing material and let dry, apply a thin coat of finisher to the front of the project and let dry. Oh, it's like for finishing that the tin. That's cool. We also got a thing of highlighter tape. I've used that before and I really like it. It's removable so you can save your project. Um, some lady dot trim. Some more lady dot trim. That's like Chanel. Chanel. How do you pronounce that? Hand dyed. It's called Mossy. This is cool. This is a needle case. I love that. I guess it unscrewed. <gasps> and there's needles already in it. It's like a pin cushion. Look at the inside of it. Oh my god. I totally love that. It looks like a lipstick case. That's my favorite part of the thing so far. Yeah. We got one of those um, sleds. I guess that's why we got the perforated paper. We got two metal rings for thread for bobbins. We got one of the small um, needle minders. Whoops, that just stuck to the sled. And we got like the crushed walnut shells for filling stuff. Yeah. So all in all, very, very cool. I totally love the basket. That's going to be my favorite part, I know. 
yeah, so that was all the stuff we got in our goodie bag. Tomorrow there's a spring fest down at the end of the boardwalk, so we're really going to try to walk down there in the morning because it's supposed to rain later on in the day. We're going to figure out where to go for dinner because they don't provide us dinner on Saturday night. And much more stitching. But yeah, so that's it. I just spoke for six minutes. So I hope you all are having a good weekend. And I hope you all are having a good stitch mania. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, y'all. I just got up. It's 7.50 a.m. on day two of the retreat. But what's nice is the sun is coming out. It's hard to tell. There was so much wind last night that there is like spray all over my window. But yeah. Um, so we're going to go to the Spring Fest today, this morning. I am going to get dressed and go down and have breakfast. So I'll talk to you all later. Okay, I'm heading out of my room. This is the hallway. Heading down to breakfast. Try not to make y'all sick. Hallway's really nice. This hotel is um, old. Try not to shake it. <clears throat> There's Margot's room. I'm bringing my cup down from Trish um, Delicious Threads. This is the lobby. Someone call me filming that watches my videos. And then this is our room where we are. So I forgot to, Jesus Christ, these women are loud. Yeah. So I forgot to show you what I was working on yesterday. Uh, the Pink Mermaid. That's my new name for her. Beautiful. Yeah. Waiting for the ladies to come down. From sleeping. You know, goes on and on. I've already had a bagel. Need to go get some coffee. Yeah. Be back. Okay, we're walking down to the Spring Fest. Pat, Sandy, everyone else decided to stay back at the place and stitch. It's really windy. I'll take some shots at the Spring Fest. Okay, we are at Spring Fest. Look at all the people. People, too many people. Music is boom, boom, boom. <laughs> lots of vendors, lots of cool stuff. But yeah, so we're gonna be heading out of here soon. Probably get some lunch. See y'all later. Hey guys, it is the end of the second day of the retreat. It's about 10.30. I couldn't hang tonight. <laughs> I was so tired today. Did a lot of walk-in, as you saw the little snippet of Spring Fest that I went to. Uh, came back from that, went downstairs, did more stitching. Oh, I did get, I didn't buy anything at Spring Fest, but I did get two things on the boardwalk. We've been wanting a new flag for the flagpole in our backyard, so I got this one. My husband wanted an American flag, and I thought this was a good compromise.
where I like that one. And every year that I come to this retreat, I buy a hooded sweatshirt. Now normally I buy one that says Ocean City on it, but this time I didn't because I saw this one and I just loved it. I mean, look at the color. It's like bright, bright pink and it's so soft. Yeah, it has the Ravens, which is our football team, like the Superman symbol. And then on the pocket, it has another symbol, but then on the sleeve, it has Baltimore. And then little symbol at the top. So totally love this. Totally love it. Oh my God, like I said, it's so soft. I'm gonna love wearing that. I wear hoodies in the summer, it doesn't matter. And so we came back and we stitched and we went to dinner at this place called Harborside. And I got nachos, they were very good. And then we came back and we stitched some more. And a lot of times people will bring charts from their stash that they don't want anymore. And someone did. And so I was looking through and man, you should see the three that I got. Now I bought nothing at the needlework store that put on this retreat. I walked around in there yesterday and just didn't, didn't need anything. and didn't really see anything that caught my eye. But I did get these three patterns. The ink circles, turtles all the way down. I love this pattern. And I think what I'd like to do is stitch each one of the shells in a different variegated color. Free people, they were giving it away, so free. I also got the Glendon Place Plum Pudding. Um, is that not me or what? It's purple, are you kidding people? Yeah. So, totally love that. Now, the next this next pattern I've owned, and I owned it a couple months ago, and I think I gave it away when I was going to sell it, and then I think I just gave it to someone. But I saw it, and I said, you know what? I think I would like to stitch it. The ink circle's hanky-sanky. Hanky-panky, probably, is what it's called. Hanky-panky. But yeah, and they give you two colorways you can stitch this in. Um, a pink colorway or a rainbow, and I guess this is the rainbow? I'm not sure. But it's charted for Carrie's, whoops, it's charted for Carrie's creation threads. Yeah, I won't be stitching that on black. No, a whole lot of nope on that. But uh, yeah, didn't I do good for free? But yeah, I, I have some fans at this retreat. I want to give a shout out to Marguerite. She drove all the way from New York, which was five hours to get to this retreat. Very nice lady. Uh, I talked to her for a little bit tonight and yesterday. And then there were two ladies and I did not get their names. But they were sitting in the lobby stitching and they said they watched my videos. And it's so surreal seeing people that watch your videos because I kind of don't know what to say. Like, thank you for watching my videos. You know, it's and they're like starstruck, like I'm famous. <laughs> it's so, it's just, it must be what a celebrity kind of feels like, right? When they see people asking for their autograph and stuff. And yeah, it was, it's really, it's really wonderful though to, to meet people that watch your videos and, and like them so much. And I'm so thankful for everyone who watches and loves my videos. But I did make progress on the pink mermaid today. Now, I'm gonna hold the pattern way back here, what I have left, because I wanna show you, this is her hair. I have this much left. I don't know if I can get that done tomorrow. Let me hold it real close. See, I don't know if I can get that done tomorrow because there's like five colors in her hair and a bunch of beads. And it was really tedious what I did today on the hair. So, here's what I got done though. Let me try to, you know what, let me hold this back here. I got done all the rest of her skin, all of her skin's done. And then this is the part of her hair that I got done tonight. It's hard to tell because this lighting's not that great, but those are beads. I think I'm also gonna redo the back stitch of her face tomorrow because I should be coming out a little bit, but yeah. 
Now, I did really good, like, yesterday. I'd gotten done the entire rest of the shawl and her arm. You saw it on Instagram and Stitch Mania. But, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get done the hair. I mean, I'm going to be here all day and night tomorrow, so maybe, but... Man, today wore me, and now I'm not going to be doing all that walking that I did today, tomorrow. That walking wore me out. I am, I am really tired. So, that just looks so much better in person. It, this picture doesn't even do it justice. But yeah, I will, uh, I'm going to watch some TV. Maybe try to watch this movie that Pat recommended called Passengers. With Jennifer Lawrence and I can't think of the guy's name. It's a famous guy. He's in stuff. But I might try to watch that before I go to bed. Or I don't know if I can stay up there. It's 1030 and I'm really tired. We found a new cool coffee place though. The coffee place that was on the boardwalk was not open when we walked down there. But we found this place and Pat bought me a mocha. And man it was really good. But I think tomorrow I'll probably get Starbucks. Margo might go to Starbucks in the morning. So have her get me a coffee. But that's all for me, folks. So tune in tomorrow for some highlights of day three. And then I'll be coming home on Monday. I'm sad that it's almost over already. But I'll be glad to get home. But yeah, I've had a lot of fun. It's been really good. So have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, y'all. It's the last day of the retreat, or the last day for me. I mean, it's over. It's Sunday, about 10.30. I was watching a movie on my iPad, and remember, I hadn't done like a little video for today. Today was a good day. Uh, you know, got up, had breakfast. I actually slept in a little bit today, which was nice, because I don't sleep very well traveling. Um, went down, had breakfast, did some stitching, went over to the store, the needlework store, and I wasn't planning on buying anything, but I actually got this Tarvis cup. This is a really great cup. This was a little pricey. It was $26, but I like it because my other one is all, you know, broke ass and busted. So this is the store that put on the retreat, Salty Yarns in Ocean City, Maryland. Um, yeah, this cup is fantastic. Um, so I got this. And I also got, I picked out threads for this, because I might do this as my next project. I really love all the turtles. So here's the threads I picked out. I had a hell of a time picking out threads, people. It was 13 different colors for the shells. So I'm not going to read all these out. They are a combination of Gentle Art Sampler threads and Classic Color Works. Some really pretty, beautiful colors that I picked out. I'm going to do, you know, one shell. Each of these colors is one shell that I picked. So there's all those. That should look really good. And as far as the fabric, I'm going to have to do a pretty neutral fabric. I mean, look how bright those colors are. So I think I'm going to do... I'm due to get a piece of uh, Caramel Macchiato from Stephanie. So I think I'm going to do it on that. It's like a tan, you know, brown neutral color. That was all I bought. And we did some stitching. Um, most of the ladies that we were sitting with left at 1.30. So I had had some leftover pizza from last night. I had that for lunch. And then it was only Lacey and I left. And we had a good night. She talked a lot. We talked a lot. Did a bunch of stitching. We went to dinner at Panera, which I love that place. So it was good to go there. 
and I got quite a bit done on her hair. I did not finish it. Let me try to put something behind it. I did not finish, but I got close. And that picture does that no justice. There are a lot of beads in the section that I, in all of this. This is beads that, I mean, there's just beads all over the place and it's hard to see. Maybe once I get home and I have better lighting. Um, but yeah, I am almost done because, where's the pattern? Where's the piece of the pattern? Oh, here it is. I'll hold it back real far away so you can see how far I got. I mean, look, I only have this, this. So really, woo, yep, this and this, that's it. So not too much. So it should be able to be finished this week. And I redid the back stitch on her face, like I said I was going to do. I think it looks a little better. Yeah. Um, it's not even really her face, you know, we're seeing like the back of her. So I did just like a little eyelash sort of um, yeah so yeah I should definitely be able to get that done this week hopefully um, really and then her hair the rest of it it goes down here it fills in all this and comes out here so it's right here but yeah this project didn't take me this that long it only took me Oh, I started it like April 4th, so a little over a month, like five weeks, six weeks, so not too bad. So, yeah, that's all I got. I'm going to turn on the TV here, lay down. They've been having marathons of like Golden Girls, Roseanne, I love those shows. So yeah, I'm going to lay down, watch a little bit of TV, go to sleep. I have radiation tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I have about a two and a half hour ride, so I need to make sure I leave here by, I would say like 9.30 at the latest to get down there so I can eat and stuff like that. So I'll piece all this together when I get home and load it up for you guys to watch. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different snippets and everything of the retreat. I can't believe it's already done. That was a that was a quick couple days, right? But okay. Have a good night or have a good day. I mean, you're gonna see this, and I'm gonna be home by the time you see this. Hope you all had a good stitchy week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello. I'm back from the retreat. I'm gonna try to do this pretty quick because I'm taking a chance here, folks. My husband is home, and I'm in the kitchen, and he's right out front. So yeah. So I'm back from the retreat, as you saw the previous clips. Long day today. Didn't get home until almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Was at radiation for like an hour and a half almost. I had to see the doctor today, so that takes a little bit longer. But I just wanted to touch on a couple things real quick. Um, I did get some stuff in the mail that was here when I got home. I got my fabric from Color Cascade. All 16 count Ada. This is Garden of Eden. This is really beautiful. What I want to do is I want to do the Ink Circles Dragons of Sumatra on this fabric with a blue thread. This thread. This blue thread. Won't that look good up against that? Yeah, I think it will. And I also got the fabric called Clouds that I want to do the Courtney Collection Garden Fair on with this thread. Look at this. Yeah, that'll look beautiful with the black. Won't it? Whoops, showing the pattern. <laughs> yeah, but that'll look really good. And then I also belong to her fabric of the month and this month's is called Oasis. Really pretty. It's showing up much brighter in the picture, in the camera. But yeah, I, I love that. I don't know what will go on that. But I also got the mole skin that Jennifer from Delicious Threads had bought for her Lowry. Whoops, I hit the camera. 
and I actually put it on when I got home so I haven't tried it as far as putting my project in it but you can see I you just stick it in there so I did that and someone had commented on my last video about how would I convert the pink mermaid to seafoam green so I brought out my color card real quick and I brought out the thread so the three colors of the shawl are 915, 917, and 3607, which are these three, okay? If you look in the color card, 915, 915, 917, and then 3607. So it goes one, two, and then it skips one. So if you wanted to convert that to seafoam green, it's basically just looking and seeing what goes from, putting them in order from light to dark. So I had went over here, because here's the greens, and what I would have converted that to was 958, which is here. So 958, 3812, I mean, 3812, 958, and then 964 for the shawl. And then for the body of her, it's these three colors. Again, you do light to dark. So there's a dark, a middle, and a light. I would have done, then you look, and it's nice that the color card is done in, you know, group color families. So I would have come over here and done, it's hard to see it in the camera, but like 912, I would have done 912, 954, and then 955, so you just go dark, medium, light. And it, it's whatever you want to do, because there are tons of shades of green. I mean, I've converted the Celtic Autumn. I converted that, because that was like done in purples. I converted that to orange, browns, and ar uh, yellows when I did it. So one other thing I wanted to mention was I had sent Sulky you know, the thread company and email. And I don't remember if I mentioned this in a previous email, email, previous video. I had sent them an email saying, look, I do floss tube videos. Here's a link to my channel. I would love for you to send me the thread and I can do a review. Well, that was like a month and a half ago. And I thought the email went into like the abyss as every other email has gone into that I've sent to companies or was deleted. Well, I got a response back like two days before I left for the retreat from their creative opportunities director, director of creative opportunities, something like that. She is sending me the whole line of thread, the 12 weight, and she said she loved my videos and that when she gets back from a trade show this month, she wants to email me about other things that we can do. I don't know what that means, but I was really excited about that email. That was really awesome. I'm so tired today, folks. Mm. But yeah, so I hope you all have had a good week. I hope you all have a good stitchy week this week. And I did not finish the mermaid yet. I didn't do any more stitching today, obviously, yet from the picture that you saw last night when I was still at the hotel. I'll probably finish that this week. And I don't know where I'm going to start next. Probably the Courtney Collection one, since I have the fabric now, so... But okay, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed the retreat little snippets. And I will see you next week. Bye.